is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be discussing something that i think a lot of you guys have been asking about for a while now you know i think i get it maybe every day every day you know we do a daily upload here on the channel i think every single day i get something or some sort of question or dm or comment or something asking about today's subject so today guys we're going to hopefully address everything that is revolving around the MDT pick fed. That's what we're going to be discussing here today. And if you guys have any other questions about it or any further details that you would like to know or anything like that, please let me, you know, leave me a question down in the comment section and I will get to it as fast as I possibly can here today. But let's just dive into the MDT pick fed. You know, what, where is it? You know, when's the next show going to be up? What my feelings are about it? All of these different things that you know, have been weighing on me for quite a long time. Now, I'll go ahead and get it out in the open. It's not going anywhere. I don't plan on canceling it. I don't plan on, you know, shutting it down or anything like that. So don't, like, get all up in a ruckus because it's definitely not going anywhere. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's just something that I don't really know how to explain it. Um, I've talked with friends about it before, and they 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 can relate to me, I think. I think anybody who's pick fed it before can kind of relate to this. And if you pick fed it, you can let me know down in the comment section below and all of those things. But thanks throughout this video. If you guys can relate to some of these things, just let me know down in the comment section below but the pick fed the mdt pick fed it's not gone or anything like that it's not going you know it's i'm definitely not shutting it down it's not something that i want to do at all and i very much enjoy you know telling the story and the, everything that i want to do here with the mdt pick fed so i'm pretty much making this video to get it all out in the air and let you guys know and be transparent with you and just get it all out there so you guys can understand where i'm coming from and then maybe you can you know let me know your thoughts and everything like that so i just want to get it out there and let's just go ahead and discuss it so so you guys obviously know at the beginning of 2020, if we go back to our big pay-per-view, our last big pay-per-view, that would be MDT Hell's Gate. That was back in March of 2020, which is actually over a year from now, which makes me sick. But uh, you guys know March 22nd, 2020 is when the show went up, you know, it went live or whatever. Fantastic feedback from you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Seems like everybody enjoyed it, and I really appreciate all the positive feedback on that show. But if we rewind just a little bit, and we go back to February 22nd, which would be a month prior to Hell's Gate, my son was born. So my son was born on February 22nd, and that actually put a hindrance on the show, because I remember going up, I, I had a release date planned for you guys, and then I said the only thing that would delay this, that would delay Hell's Gate, would be if my son was born. My son was born, and so we had to push it back a little bit, which is all understandable. Anybody who has kids or anything like that, it's a huge responsibility. You know, you gotta be pretty much over them 24-7, especially when they're first born. So when my son was born, that kind of delayed it a little bit. So also, right when my son was born, we had something that came to the United States, right? We had a pandemic hit the United States and it shut everything down. You know, it was a lot of unknown stuff. We didn't really know what the hell was gonna go on. You know, you don't know. When it first hit, you know, we didn't know anything. So it was very scary time especially being a new dad and you know new father and things like that you know you're like what the hell like oh my god you know you don't you don't know you don't know so you know you're you're overthinking everything a lot of unknowns were happening and we had to you know just make do and you know we went on quarantine and we were in quarantine for a while my wife was off work because obviously she just had a kid so she was taking time off work we were all here together and stuff so that that did uh you know for a while there i mean that i don't know how long we were in quarantine for i can't remember how long exactly was it was a it was a definitely a little while there but I think once we shut everything down and you know you get that time with your family and you get that special time with your family and you know you have this brand new experience as a dad and you're helping taking care of your son and all of these things I think that definitely played a role in like the hindrance of the shows coming out and so after Hell's Gate was posted not only was I a new dad the pandemic all these crazy things happening spending time with family getting used to to new life with my son on top of that Hell's Gate took a ton out of me I don't, I don't know what it was I guess just the level of details and the production and everything that goes into it. Like, I don't know what it was, just like mentally, I guess I was just completely fried. Like, the arena just rotted there forever. Like, I didn't do anything with the arena. It just sat there forever. The Elimination Chamber sat up for a while. It was like, pretty much like I had burned out or something. And I didn't want to be burned out. It was kind of like I was like upset with myself for being burnt out because I know where I want, like, I want to get to the big shows just like you guys do. Like, you think that I just want to sit here and I don't want to get to the shows as fast as possible. I definitely do, but it's like something in my brain like where it was like a mental block where I just did not want to film anything so fast forward a little bit from March to October I did a little bit of filming here and there I mean that's what seven months or something like that that's absolutely outrageous I can't like it seven months is a very long time that is a long time like no doubt about it that is an absolute long time so we finally got vindication up 
for episode, what was it, 16? Episode 16 of Vindication. We finally got that up, and I was proud of it. I thought it turned out pretty good, like, as far as visuals and what I wanted to capture with that whole show and everything like that. After that, I felt pretty good. I was thinking, you know what, bro? We gotta get MDT Live up. Again, same thing happened. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. It was like I was kind of just in a mental fog where I just didn't want to do anything Pick Fed related, but it's dumb because I would watch Pick Feds, and I would, like, I love wrestling, and I love figures, and I love doing all these things with a thing, but I just couldn't pull myself to film. Since I'm a new dad and everything, it's kind of like where I'm finding time to film, but when I find the time to film, it's also trying to find the motivation to film on top of that. But it's dumb because, again, I would watch other pick feds, I would watch other people's content, really enjoy it, all of these things, and have ideas in my head. It would spark new ideas in me. You know, me and Brad are writing scripts and everything, and we get really excited for it, but when it comes down to it sometimes, it just, I just, it wouldn't happen. I don't know. So after Vindication is posted, same thing kind of happens, you know, I enter like kind of a mental fog, you know, I'm kind of like, eh, I want to film, you know, I get, I'll, I'll, I'll run into these like super highs where I'm like super motivated to film, and maybe I will, I'll grind out some filming and stuff like that, and then I would enter another like episode where I'm just like, I just, again, like creatively and like, it's just the last thing that I would want to do, especially when you have all these other with different things going on. So we get to the new year, January 1st. I thought that MDT Live 16 would be posted on Christmas Day. It actually, something, the, the what it was is um, one of the things I needed for the show actually didn't come in. It was supposed to be in like way day sooner so I could have gotten the show up on Christmas Day. Didn't get the show up on Christmas Day so I had to delay it. The thing finally comes, I think, the day after maybe? Or maybe it was like the, I, I can't remember exactly. Maybe it was the day before or something like that. But the thing finally comes in, we get the show filmed and we end up doing a New Year's Day. Day, Christmas Day show, which really wouldn't fall in with the timeline. So we finally get the New Year's Day show up, and that is where we stand, man. That is, what, three and a half months, almost four months ago that we posted our last pick fed episode and to be honest with you like that just makes me sick it makes me upset for you guys it makes me upset for me like i i hate that like i i again if we go back to the beginning of the pick fed if we go back to when it first started this is how fast things went now given the posing was garbage everything you know we were still trying to figure everything out i had never pick fed it before it was a big deal but this is just the the comparison here so the first ever draft the mdt draft for the pick fed was on july 14th 10 days later vindication one came out around let's say 13 days from then so almost two weeks mdt live came out two weeks from then so july 24th was the first vindication two weeks later on august 7th mdt live came out two weeks later on august 21st vindication 2 came out two weeks later on september 6th mdt live 2 came out then we took we hit a little bit of a rough patch one month later vindication 3 came out 10 days later mdt 3 came out and then 10 days after that a full-fledged pay-per-view came out in Blackout. So that's how fast the episodes came out back in the beginning. So we did a draft, six episodes, and a pay-per-view in the span of like three months. So that'd be seven shows, six weekly shows, one pay-per-view, one draft, in three months, which would be ideal. I would love to do that in current day using the current, you know, what we do now with like our posing and matches and stuff like that. And you guys remember we were trying to do highlights to get through the shows faster, but it seems like since switching to highlights, it almost seems like it's worse or something. I don't know. It makes me sick though because I, I want... I want the pick fed to be out as soon as possible, and I really can't, again, if I give myself dates, like, I remember back when I did MDT Blackout, I gave, the, like, the reason that that show came out on Halloween, I, don't get me wrong, I literally almost, like, I had to kill myself to get that show out. It's like, almost when I give myself a deadline, I work harder, but I also put myself through terrible, like, mental and physical stress, like, staying up late and editing for a long period of time, and, like, it's, it's very, I, I don't think it's good for your soul, but I don't know, I want the shows out quick, man, like, we're we're four weekly episodes away from the big show, and people keep asking me when the big show is, but I can't tell you the big where the I can't tell you where the big show is because we haven't done the or, other four weekly shows yet, and we got to get through those. And I don't know how long the gap is. It can't be three months or so because it'll be 2025 before we get there. Like I, it makes me sick. That's why Kenny Omega is like on a nine-year championship reign is because I wanna like I wanna get these shows out. It's like I just run into these blocks. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. But I don't know. So pretty much the update is I'm trying my best to get it up to you guys. I want to get it up to you guys. And I'm I'm filming where I can and when I can. And I'm doing my best. But I just don't want to let you guys down. I don't want to let myself down. And I feel like I've done that for the better part of whatever. The big fans of the MDT Pick Fed, I feel like I've let you guys down. You guys have been awesome being patient for it. 
and waiting and everything like that. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I'm so thankful for you guys that are fans of the Pick Fed and want to check it out and stuff like that. And all I can really say is that it's coming. I'm doing my absolute best to get it out. I would love to have out the next Vindication at the beginning of May. If I found some time, I might get it out before April is over. But I guess it's just like I've been like in a writer's block, I guess, like a creative writer's block or something like that. When the scripts, like, don't get me wrong, so most of the scripts have been finalized, but we have ran into some snags here and there sometimes and things like that. But I guess what I could say is like, it's literally just like a writer's block. Like I, I, I run into these mental blocks and then it hurts the filming schedule and things. One thing leads to another and then it's like been so long and then it's like, good God, when am I ever going to finish this? And then I get unmotivated because it's been so long. It's just like a repeated process. And I guess also it probably just adds to it I guess because I'm, I'm trying to like finalize so many little details like maybe I micromanage a little bit too much when it comes to the details of the pick fed and like certain things that I want to make happen and stuff like that and that leads to you know other things and that puts more on my plate which overwhelms me and then maybe I don't film as much I don't know everything about it but at the end of the day man we're gonna get there we're definitely gonna get there and I want it to be quick man again if I could have it my way I'd have a new show out every week like I'd have a, like you know what I'm saying I'd have two shows every Every week we'd have background stuff we'd have this little like documentary like WWE does where you know guys are filming me film and then we're doing like backstage segments and we're doing like little mini documentaries about the pick fed and like making it really realistic and stuff like that I guess that's just not really realistic because it's just a one-man show I don't I don't know that's just like what my dream would be and I guess like because I do all the editing because I do all the filming maybe I just get burnout on some sometimes maybe it's just a lot I, I don't know but all I can really say is that a new episode is coming soon and I'm gonna do my absolute best to get it out to you guys and I want you to understand that I want it out just as bad as you do and you guys are the absolute best for watching and caring and asking about it and checking out everything about the MDT pick fed but I love you guys and I really appreciate you guys standing by and being patient about the pick fed and asking all your questions and things like that if you guys have any other questions down in the comment section below or anything you'd like to ask about the pick fed please let me know down in the comment section and I will get to it as fast as I can like I said but yeah man new episode coming soon as possible and I'm still working on a ton of things for the big show I mean I got so many John Brown plans and ideas and things in my skull which maybe that plays into it maybe I shouldn't be so detailed but that pretty much does it for our MDT pick fed update video guys thank you guys so very much for watching for our random shout out today guys it's going to go to everyone here because you guys are absolutely amazing for just being awesome fans of the pick fed for checking out the pick fed, caring about the pick fed, all of the different things. But we're going to make it. It's going to be epic once we get there. I got it. I got this. You guys are awesome. Couldn't do it without you. But you guys already know. When MDT doesn't upload the pick fed and get going on the stuff, well, MDT. You crossed the line. I've been